ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what time it is. We are back with another episode of RAO Podcast. It's your boy, Mr. Jefferson. It's your boy, Ampavelli. Today, we got a very, very special guest. Hey, DJ Larry, he come from around your way, man. One time from Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I'm about to let him go ahead and introduce himself. Hey, it's your boy, Huncho Seldero. And I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. There you go. Yeah, I sure. fuck with the name, bro. <laughs> For I sure. I fuck that. with the name, I love bro. the name. How you got that name, though? Uh, I'll just explain it to her, too. Uh, I got that name, like, growing up, how I grew up. Gotcha. Being, being in the hood, yeah. being in fights and being in shit. And I just felt like I was a stand-up guy. Right. And I feel like I can handle whatever come my way. I'm Straight sterile. up. Straight up. Hey. I like the spelling on the shit, everything. And then, I mean, when you say it out loud, like when you read it and then say it, bro, that shit flow like a motherfucker. You know what, sure. what I'm saying? Now, one thing I, I do want to highlight, watched a couple of your videos before we came. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that. Did our research. Yeah, yeah, energy level is amazing, bro. Appreciate I think it. that today we don't see enough of that in rappers especially, you know what I mean? But artists have kind of gotten away from showmanship, right? Yeah, yeah. So the video you just dropped, and we're going to get into that in a second. Okay. I'm watching it, and I'm like, this nigga season. <laughs> Lawries. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so you just dropped your record, Welcome to Memphis. Tell us a little bit about that. How did that song come together? What was the uh, thought process? You know what I'm saying? What made you say, this is the, the direction that I'm going right now? Uh, okay, the uh, sound that's on the, I got on the beat, mm -hmm. it's a sound that jukes, buckers. Like, I bucked juke too. Okay, so, okay. Uh, I had, Hold up, we might have to battle after this. <laughs> <laughs> So I had uh, I was watching a video on YouTube bucking, and I mm -hmm. heard this song like what's going? They were oh it was like oh loving you is all. I was like damn that be hard. Right, right. So I went research the joint. Uh -huh. I went research. I was like I found it. So when I was hearing it for a minute, and I was like welcome to Memphis. Boy, they dug it. Came to walk. This it. So I got to write into that motherfucker. Let's go. And it came out like that. Yeah. Yep. That's how it came. That's hard. That's uh, dope. Uh, well, who produced it? Oh, my homeboy Max. Okay. Yep. Oh, so yeah, he, shout him out. Let shout out to Max, it. man. Shout out to my boy Max. He did my boy. Yes, yeah. He took care of me. Yeah. So sure. you just like sent him the sample and he just did his thing on it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, salute. That's, that's dope. That you that's a dope he, producer. And he, and he chopped it up in my face. Oh, man. He a real cold producer. Yeah, yeah, man, for shout sure. Shout out to Max once again, Salute man. Max once again. Salute Max, Max for real. Ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, talk. Go ahead and let the people know what his, what's his at, where they can find him at. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring uh, some business his way. They can find him on all platforms. All right. What's he, it? he stayed in Miami. He okay. in Miami, so the okay. way he located it, his gotcha. studio, the way he stayed. The what's the name of the studio? Wave Studio. Yeah. Okay. And you know what's crazy? I never really asked him what the name of the studio because I was because I, I fuck with him so tough. <laughs> right. We right. just go. We just it have don't a matter, like, That nigga say, yeah, it don't matter what the <laughs> name is. Yeah, hey. yeah. We just we, we locked in. Yeah, yeah, just give me the addy. We go, let's get locked in. Yeah, yeah. yeah Straight I respect, up. I respect it. How this shit be. Now, real quick, I just want to uh, pause for the calls to say this. If y'all see me switching cups today, I want to uh, let y'all know. A nigga drinking Paul Masson in one. Because he done put us on to the Paul Masson peach. Hey, she's gone. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. He done fucked it I up. Or we done fucked it up with him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now they got me on this Henny, man. Henny that ain't friendly. <laughs> Yeah, I want to shout y'all out, man. Y'all brought us the bottle through. We definitely appreciate uh, it. No problem. Uh, it's a limited edition, the Nas edition. So, man, that mean a lot to us. You know what I'm saying? So but good. this nigga's so thorough. You know man, what I'm saying? On, <laughs> Forever thorough. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Forever not just thorough. a name. That's, that's him. Yeah, just, yeah. Straight up, man. The name, the name has validation to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's backtrack. Let's go all the way, man. So you from Memphis. What part of Memphis you from? Cause I listen to a lot of Duke Deuce. I listen to a lot of some Memphis niggas. Right. Okay. Uh I just I know what what is Frazier? Yeah, Frazier. Mm -hmm. That's where you from. The one from. Yeah, where you okay. from? Okay. Yeah, I know yeah. Frazier. Uh, Black Haven. I know a yeah, couple of you yeah. listen to Memphis, yep. but you from Frazier. I'm from Frazier, deep yeah. in Frazier. Yep. Born what's and up? raised. What side of what like what side of town is that? Memphis, is Frazier. It's Frazier. North Memphis. North, North Memphis. Memphis. Okay. Gotcha. It's like North Memphis and Frazier. Yeah. They try to put it together, but it's really not together. Oh, yeah. We listen to oh, yeah. Project Pat. He be like North, North, North. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Project Pat, man. Salute, Pat, man. 
Yeah, salute him. One time for Project Pat. Man, he don't get enough respect. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Pat. Man, yeah. Pat is a legend, dog. I feel like his lyricism was not even, like, it don't get talked about enough. <clears throat> yeah. It don't get talked about enough. And if you go back and listen to a lot of those records, Pat was spitting. Pat was spitting. Pat and was spitting. you know what? I, had, I got a track off Pat song that Cheese and Dope beat. Mm, oh, right. my gosh. So and I came like him. <laughs> I came <laughs> just like Let's him. Let's go. Bro. He be on that dog. I yeah, kind of yeah. Like that. <laughs> I got cheese and dope, man. Yeah. That shit. <laughs> that bump that's a that's a well, that's a legend. Do the legend, man. Straight up, straight up. So growing up in Memphis, what was life for you? I wouldn't say it was hard, but it was hard. It was I in between. It. Right, right. You know, mm. so I'm the only child. Okay. Well, I'm the only child on my mama's side, not my daddy's side. Gotcha. So I, and I've been with my mama like all my life. Right, right, so, right. So uh it was just me and my mom. She always go to work. I go to school. I'd be home by myself. Yeah. And that's where I found music at, too, being by myself. And speaking on music, um, I used to write with no beat. I used to write on paper with no beat. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I used to, I, look, it's probably been, what, 11 years now? I, I ain't rapping in a while, but that was one of my toughest challenges. Yeah. I could never write without a beat. Yeah. Because I felt like it was more, it, it, the, my writing style, I feel like it comes off more poetic. Yeah. So anytime I hear somebody write a verse without a beat, to me, yo, you want some Jay Z. Like, that's legendary. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that's that's huge. So. And I, I kind of do that now. Like, I I go to a beat, I listen to it. I'm like, okay. Right. I listen Once to you get the tempo. Once I get the tempo, I pause the beat, go to my notes. There you and go. Then, there the right. you go. then go yeah, back to yeah. the beat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of my mind frame when I'm writing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I need the melody, but as soon as it's locked in my head, we yeah, there. We there. So, how long? Uh, that ain't even the right way to ask. At what age did you start rapping? What age did you say, I can do this? Uh, I don't. I'm gonna say the age of this. I'm gonna just say this. Sixth grade. Okay. 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 I was rapping around. Six, I started rapping in sixth grade. Now, when you started rapping, right? Because I think, I mean, as black men, right? Yeah. We find our inspirations through athletes, entertainers, rappers, etc. Right. For a lot of black men, everybody says, you know, hey, I, I, I freestyle. I yeah. do this. I do that. When you got into rap, did you have the mindset that I'm going to create songs, I'm going to be an artist, I'm going to be... Because again, watching your video, listening to your music, I get more of a feel that um, you're, se like I say, seasoned again. You put a lot of time and effort into it. That's something that really does show... Is that something that you had early on or something that you developed over time? It's something I've been at. Like I, like I just told you, I used to write with no beat. Right, so right. I used to sit there and just write and just be thinking. Like, damn. I have a melody in my head. Right. I ain't yeah. listening to no beat yet. I just got it in my head. Got you. So I'm just bouncing. Like, damn. I got to find a beat that'll go right with this. So right. I go through beats and I listen to them rap. This the beat. Yeah. Yeah, it go right with it. <laughs> I respect that 100%. For so, sure. Appreciate that. That's dope. So, uh, the whole Memphis Juke coach, coach it's, like, it's called Juking, right? Yeah, yeah. Juking, Bucking. Yeah. Okay, Bucking. <laughs> like, how does that, like, I, I, I assume every dude from Memphis just know how to do that shit. Well, how did that come about? Y'all just like, oh shit, it's the it's culture. Like, it's like it in y'all jeans, like all y'all yeah, niggas. Used, it used to call gangster walking. Yeah, yeah, gangster yeah, yeah. Gangster That's walking. how I was introduced to they, it. Yeah, uh, they, they had a song like, "This is how you gangster walk. Hmm. This how you gangster." Yeah, walk. Oh, you just be. I used to, I used to watch that. Like, what made me get into booking? I used to go to the skate ring. Uh, so when I used to see them, they used to have a little thing. Yeah, and when they get through skating, they had this thing called gangster walk. Mm -hmm. So everybody walk around the ring and dance. So I used to just be sitting sometimes, I just see a crowd. I'm like, what they doing over there? I go over there, I see folks like, damn, he hard, he cold. I don't wanna learn it. So I used to go to the ring so much to learn it, and I learned it. Uh, now I'm drawing a blank. Anytime I try and think of a name when I need it, I can't think of it. What's his name from 3-6? Uh, um, we got Juicy J, DJ oh, Paul. DJ Paul. Are you talking Crunchy? Crunchy, Crunchy Black. Black, there we go. Yeah. Okay, Crunchy Black. Was really what introduced me to mm, gangster yeah. walking, right? Yeah. yeah. Now yeah, Ryan, I'm a dancer at heart. Video. Straight up, straight yeah. up, straight up. When I saw that, bro, that changed my life. 
Like real real shit. And even like with the resurgence of things in Duke Deuce, right? Yeah. Shout out to Memphis out to Duke because Deuce, man. yeah, big shout out to Duke Deuce. I'm a huge so, Duke Deuce fan personally. But shout out to Memphis for real because the resurgence is even stronger than it was in the nineties right mm-hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? And in the nineties, I mean, they were dropping classic shit, right? But yeah. Kenny Money just came out. Like yeah. he, he he popping, you know what I'm saying? You got shout out to Kenny Money. Man, you got several Memphis artists that are uh putting on in a major way right now. Yeah. And one thing that I love is y'all are so true to the culture i start to ask you because hearing it in your lingo right yeah do they teach y'all to just add a r into everything <laughs> <laughs> i mean that nigga say when you hear music yeah <laughs> music, music. <laughs> you know a nigga from the you know a nigga from yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that draw yeah I'm gonna be honest, yeah, yeah. Memphis got like top three accents. 100%. 100%. Yeah. We go, we go, New Orleans. New Orleans, I say, shit, I fuck with Atlanta heavy. Like, yeah, they Atlanta, accent yeah, yeah, and they yeah. lingo, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I say, for me, it probably go, I'm gonna go Atlanta first, New Orleans, then Memphis. And I only say that just because New Orleans, like, I'm from Pensacola. Okay. New Orleans is a two hour drive, hopping a skip. You got a lot of people that transition through and a lot of people that transition out, right? Yeah. And being that close, I've been through Memphis, I, I mean, uh, New Orleans rather, several times and hearing that, you heard me? Like, yeah, man, that, like, that saying alone, strong for me, right? But Memphis, man, like, I mean, like Memphis, it's, like, a un- it's a small city. But it's big at the same time. Major influence. Major influence, yeah. especially in the South. Especially yeah. in the South. I feel like anytime Memphis has a push of any regard, like even right now, Memphis is blowing up, not just from the music scene, but really from the juking and bucking scene. Yep. Shout yep. out to Drum. Mm-hmm. Man, that nigga killing shit, yo. Shout out to G Nerd. Come on, man. Hey. <laughs> if y'all ain't familiar, go ahead and get familiar. The juking scene is crazy in Memphis, and what y'all are doing on a national level is honestly unbelievable. I love Memphis culture yeah. because there is no other culture that's like it. Mm-hmm. The unity is always like one of the biggest things people see mm-hmm. and, and, and talk about. So for you, working with uh, other Memphis artists, yeah. What is that experience like? I think here in Jacksonville, right? There's not a huge like networking community. Yeah. But in Memphis, it seems like that's what music and dance and entertainment period is built on. Yeah. So how was that for you coming up in the rap scene? Well, in Memphis, okay, Memphis, like when it comes to the music, you know, you got a lot of artists in Memphis. Mm-hmm. But you know, a lot of rappers. Just stick, be like, be they self. Like a lot of rappers don't mess with a lot of rappers. Some okay. of them, some rappers mess with a lot of rappers. Some of them mess with certain people. Some of yeah. them mess, don't mess with certain. Like people. a click, thing, clicked up thing. Like a click up thing, but All you right. got some people that will mess with certain people on some genuine shit. Okay. But you know, some people just be in their own lane. Like, right, right. I ain't like, I fuck with anybody. I, I don't do no bullshit. Right. We cool. We gonna do this music. I'm cool with it. We can do that. But if you on bullshit, I'm gonna let you be. Right. I ain't on bullshit because you know bullshit easily to get into. Yep. If you can be with somebody Straight that's up. on bullshit, but you can do music with them or hang with them, mm-hmm. and some shit come up, mm-hmm. and you ain't in that. And yep. you ain't had nothing to do with it. That's yeah. a good point. That's a good point. Let yeah. me ask you this How old are you? I'm 33. Man, likewise. <laughs> I just so, turned 33. And I'm turning 33 Sunday. So you say, um, You've been rapping since sixth grade. That's roughly what, 12 years old? Yeah, 12 years. 11. Yeah, 11, 12. That's a long time to be rapping, right? A long time. What's one of the biggest, I don't want to say takeaways, but like what's one of the biggest lessons you've learned in music? Everybody ain't your friend. (laughs) Talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah, like when it comes to the music, you know, some people get intimidated. Some get some people get intimidated by you, and you would never know it though. But it'll show, 
And what they say? On. They smile in your face. Yeah. All the time they want to take your place. Yeah, so Backstabbers. Yeah. <laughs> That's real, man. That's a great takeaway, honestly, because I feel like I didn't learn that. You know, you always hear that. Your mom tells you that. I feel like friends outside looking in can tell you that throughout your life. Yeah. But that's something that you have to experience, right? Exactly. Yeah. I ain't learned that till 33 years old, bro. I ain't learned it till I got grown. Just grown. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Damn, learned it. that's a huge point. I yeah. wasn't even expecting you to say that, honestly. <laughs> so, you remember your first song you ever made? Man, I don't. I don't remember because I had I used to write on paper at first. I write on my phone now. Yeah, I used yeah, to write yeah. on paper at first. I used to put it in the shoebox. I had a shoebox <laughs> full of raps. Straight up. I had a full, <laughs> of, full of raps. And I tried to get them raps back, but somebody ended up throwing them away. Yeah. So I was like, damn. What about the first one you like ever actually recorded remember. on wax? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. on the studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember that time either. Damn. All right, I, let I, me I, ask I, you I, this. I let might do. You. I might do remember that time. Okay. It was a house studio. A house studio. My homeboy Big Row. Shout out to Big Row. Come on, Big come he on. Was, he was uh, he was already recorded. Called me and my homies. Mm-hmm. So we used to go there. He didn't know <laughs> me like that at first because I was with my homies. My homies. Right, right, right. So he got to know me. He said I can rap. So I used to go to him by myself. Mm-hmm. And he would charge me thirty dollars studio time. Hey Amen. That's a blessing. And he'll still charge me the sign to this day. That's a blessing. I just bro. be going to bigger studios. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Nah, that's understandable. I mean, yeah. especially with your status, where you going, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta step the sound up. Yeah, you gotta step the sound the sound up for sure. Yeah. Now Did you get some good from my fault, my fault. Nah, Did you get yeah. some good feedback from the song? Oh yeah. That's dope. Yeah, got some good feedback, good sound, all that. How old were you when you first went to the studio? I think that's a great question for any artist. Uh, yeah, because they know you. you they first, know you started sixth grade, so they need to know. What's at the what point? Yeah, yeah did you start? I think I was about to be re- very honest. About, about twenty five. Get 25. the fuck out of here! No cap. <laughs> about twenty five. Till fourteen now. years. No I'm, I, no, 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 and not even like that. I'm blown away just because seeing your like. Yeah. We've had some good time to talk before the podcast. Yeah. And I think your energy level as far as like communication matches what I saw in the video, right? And yeah. like I I'm I'm talking about the video because I'm blown away, right? Just <laughs> by your 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 persona. Yeah. But to hear that you didn't touch a studio until twenty five, you to hear your cadence, your confidence in the record, you know what I'm saying? You know why it's like that? Talk to me. I always had that confidence in me because I ain't gonna lie. I already I already knew that I can do this. Amen. I already knew I had it. Amen. So when I knew I had it, I knew them like, I got this. I know, I know, I know and every song it, people ever heard, I ain't never said, I don't like that, bro. You gotta do better. I never said that. Yeah. So they were like, bro, that's hard. Straight yeah, up. That's hard, bro. Straight up. And then the way I think, I know I'm like, that's some cold shit. Yeah. I'm gonna put this down, that's some cold shit. I gotta say this. All right, so now I got, uh, you got a question? No, you got it. All right, cool. <laughs> Inspirations. When you were growing up, and I'm gonna ask you two two versions of this question, right? One, who was it that inspired you to rap? Cause coming from Memphis, I can only imagine. I'm from Pensacola, Florida. Yeah. Right. And in Pensacola, we had Roy Jones. Yeah, the boxer. <laughs> right, that nigga dropped. Uh, I smoke, I drink, and that's probably <laughs> he give me shit about all the time, right? Yeah. But who was your inspiration to get started rapping? And then I'm also gonna ask you, as you were pursuing your career and saying, "Hey, I want to develop my sound," who are artists that you listen to to say, not to say I want to sound like them? Yeah. But I want to perfect my craft so that I can be viewed like them, so that I can have that reverence. You know what I mean? Yeah, little baby. Okay. That's it, a it, great example. Aspiring, aspiring, express, express, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, aspiring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this little baby. Uh huh. I like how he came up. Like I got watched one of his documentaries, mm-hmm. and I seen how he came up. Like, damn, it's sort of like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I, I ain't say no dope or nothing. You right, know? right, right. But you know how his rap career, how he grew it. It's sort of like me, so he inspired me. 
For sure, for sure. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, I don't want to cut you off, man. No, nah, you good. You good. All right, cool. Um, right now, we're looking at what? I want to say eight years since you first touched the studio. Again, I'm mind blown by that just because, like, for me, I started rapping when I was eight, right? Yeah. My grandfather is the first person that introduced me to a home studio, yeah. and I was probably, like, 10 years old. I didn't think I was, you know, there. Yeah. But who heard me? You know, same experience, right? Yeah. It was like, okay, you got some talent, right? When you started out, how was it as far as your family's perception, your friend's perception? How did people take to you actually rapping? And then I also want to ask, what's the difference from when you started just writing on paper and in your head to when you got to the studio and people could actually hear a, a more polished sound? Uh See, when I used to write on paper, like I said, I already knew I had it. Mm -hmm. So when I used to write on paper, I put myself in the studio as I was writing. There you okay. go. There you go. I put myself like, I put my, I cut the lights off. I have a little one light on so I can see. That's real shit. So I put the light off, had one light on so I can see, and I played a beat, and I vibe. There you go. I'm like, okay. This is how I'm finna come off this jump right yeah. here. Yeah. That's how I came with it. And it just come like and when, when it comes to music it comes to be like this mm. real quick i hear that i can write a song less than five minutes quick i was in the studio one day i ain't had nothing wrote down probably like a line or two i, I put the beat on i wrote that motherfucker less than five to ten minutes do you work better under pressure either way i can work under pressure, not under pressure. It don't matter. I respect that. See, for <laughs> me, when I was rapping, right? Yeah. I felt like when there was no pressure, it's so comfortable. Like, I can just, I can write at my leisure, right? Yeah. Under pressure, I feel like, you know, hey, I can knock out a song and have many time, how much time I got. <laughs> but not everybody is like that. Like me, I can write a song by myself, vibing. Mm -hmm. And I can write a song if, if I'm in the studio, music playing, folks loud as hell, I still can write. That's what I was trying to pull because <laughs> that shows true artistry. Yeah. I block everything out. There you yeah, go. That's good because, yeah, anything, some some people, any noise, somebody, it could be an ant walking across, it, that'll just distract them. But that's mm -hmm. dope that you can, like, keep going. Yeah. Having that focus is is huge. <laughs> yeah. Everything that I'm hearing from you so far, it's like, okay, you was definitely built for this. For sure. Definitely. For sure. So you be in Miami sometimes. Have you, like, embraced yourself <clears throat> in, like, the Miami culture yet as far as music? Yeah. I didn't did a little fruit things out here. I didn't did okay. a little, oh, I didn't did a oh, live performance. I did a, I didn't open up for people. Right, right, right. I did right. a little show. Yeah, um, I did a fruit things. Yeah. That's dope. What's the uh, what's the music scene like in Miami versus Memphis? Uh, they be kind of surprised when they see me or when they hear me, cause I did one. Uh, I had opened up for uh, Fat Joe and Jim Jones before. Okay. Opened up for them and uh. That's a different type of crowd. Right, yeah, right. When I, when I when they heard me, like, damn, where you from? Well, I'm Straight from up. Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause they saying I had different swag and and then I won. There you go. Oh, so it was a competition. It was a competition. I won the people that won. It was like. Probably three of us won, but I was like one of the top artists they 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 they, they like. Straight up. So yeah, I, and I still work with them to this day. I was gonna say I can only imagine how that that transitioned. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, yeah big. <laughs> Get a round of applause real quick. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not shocked because Fat Joe and Jim Jones, those both they New York artists, but they but work, they fuck with the South. Yeah, they work, work mostly with Southern artists. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I feel like they work with Southern dudes more than they mm -hmm. do they own dudes. Yeah, you ain't lying. to be honest. So, uh, how the performances going? Like, how many are you done? Like, uh, I did most of live performances. Uh, I did a couple of little show performances. I just had a show recently, matter of fact. Okay, I did. it was an opportunity for me. Right. So, uh, my girl hooked it up for me. So she shout out to her. Shout I was gonna her. say. Another yeah. round of applause. Yeah, now, see uh, what, what Noriega be doing. Let's clap that up. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Clap it up. Yeah, yeah. 
At least we ain't clapping up no ignorant shit. Nah. But uh, <laughs> definitely shout out to your girl. So, what was your personal? And I think this is a huge question for any artist. What was your personal favorite experience, and why? And I'm talking about from a show perspective. Uh. Cause see, I'm gonna say this real quick before you answer. Outside looking in, I think oftentimes your your average fan, your average consumer, right? Yeah. Not even a fan of rap, might think that it's you opening up for an artist. But sometimes it might be a hole in the wall spot that yeah. you just had a hell of a turnout or everybody in there was really fucking with you. Yeah. What was your personal favorite experience? Performing live. Man, to be honest, I didn't have several of them. Okay. Like, like if I was to open up some for somebody, I'd be the the top artist they like. Right, right, right. They were like, man, you had some cold balls, or your song was good. Yeah. Or your performance was good. I'd be yeah. one of the top artists. So it's been a few of them that was that was lit to me. In a second, we gonna get to the video. Yeah. And I'm sorry to keep cutting you off. Out, but I mean, yeah, yeah, I apologize. Hey, look, man, I, I want you You're to talk straight, to. Bro. I want you to ask a question. But yeah, man, I'm a, I got a ton. I'm gonna bring it home. Bring, <laughs> I already home. know. Oh, you know, I got. You know, I got. <laughs> it's a it's a dangerous duo over here. <laughs> but good. um, as I watched your video, right? Yeah. One thing that I, I I took away from is most people when they do like um an artist performance, like a, a performance video. Let me say. They're they're very in front of the mic. They're pretty dynamic, let me say. Yeah. What I really fucked with was that you made it feel like it was so much bigger. Yeah. Watching that video, I felt like I saw four or five different scenes. You know what, what I'm saying? What video was that? Let me. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I gotta do something up. You want to play? Uh, do something? I think it's. I think do it's something. do something. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because. People like that. Not just was the set cold, <laughs> but the way that you worked, yeah, the space, I was truly blown away. Listeners, as you're watching this video with us, I want y'all to take away this, especially if you're an artist. It doesn't matter how much space you're given, you do the most with that shit. And yo, Hancho So Thorough did the absolute most. The video made me Appreciate want it. to participate. You know what I'm saying? Like Appreciate I'm riding it. around, like okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. and it's so crazy. I wrote that song, "Do Song." I wrote that in Atlanta, and I didn't expect it to be like that. I just said, "Cause we, one day we was finna out, me and my homeboy from all go to the studio. Like, but we got studio tonight, mm -hmm. so I ain't had nothing wrote. I wanted to do something new. Gotcha. So I'm like, damn, I gotta write something. So I'm like, damn, I gotta write something. I gotta go and do this now. It was like, cool. it was like four, five, something like that. We got studio at eight. Okay. Like, damn, I got a couple four hours. Four hours. Like I said, pressure. I asked about the pressure. Yeah, yes, but I got a couple <laughs> hours. So I went by myself in the room. Yeah. Put on the headphone, went to a beat. I said, oh, shit, this is So I was like, look, I was listening. I was like, you hear me, man? You can't be talking about the As I'm standing in my head, I'm writing. Man, I'm fucking with this nigga it, more and more. It's just coming to me like this. Yeah. It's coming to Straight me. Straight up. Damn. It's just coming to me. I finished the same night. I finished the last bar when I got to the studio. Man. Yeah. Oh, salute, salute. For I'm sure. going to give you a round of applause there just because, again, not every rapper, it's the difference between a rapper and an artist. Yeah. As I, especially as we're talking now, but as I listen to your music and watch your video, I'm like, yo, this is not just your average rapper. I feel like I see the vision that you have. You know what I mean? Like where you want to take things. Yeah. Even listening to y'all bars, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in this shit here, you was like, uh, I dropped some new diamonds in the chain. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top. Yeah. And, <laughs> let's get Hold it. Like, what you about to say something? I'm about to say the, uh how how I do get them bars and shit. Like, I used to read a lot. Yeah. I used to read a lot. So talk about it. And I used to write poems too. Yeah. So huge. And well, I, and well, I write, you know, I'm gonna ask you what's your favorite book in a second. Soon as you get done, when I get when I when I write music, I do music like off the stuff I see, off oh, the stuff I do. Mm -hmm. So 
So I just put it together in one. Yeah. And it all come together. For me, that's a huge takeaway. Because yeah. I come from a, um, a teaching family, right? Like everyone in my family is a teacher. My mom, my grandfather, my uncle, my brother, everyone is a teacher, right? Yeah. My grandfather was one of the biggest inspirations when it came to rap because he taught English yeah. for 20 years, 22 years. And hearing that you take, like you're reading and you're taking what you're reading and what you're experiencing in life and then marrying the two, yo, that's mind blowing. So. Because not, again, not every rapper does that. That's the separation between rapper and artist. I even can write a, I can write a song off a of conversation. Or off a word. Like sometimes my girl didn't my girl didn't say some little words or some uh say some I would probably say, damn, I'm gonna make a rap out of it. And I fuck around and go make a rap out of it and it become hard. Come on, um, man. Hey, I'm fucking with this nigga heavy. Wanna play it? Yeah. We All about right, to get into a <laughs> do something. Yes, sir. Let's, let's get go. into it. Yeah, you just gonna uh, break down the video and whatnot. Tell us about the direction, how it all came together. Well, the, come, me coming out the dough part. That was my girl idea. Okay. That was my girl idea. She like, I think you should come out the dough. And then, you see what it say 901? Mm -hmm. yeah, that was my girl Memphis. idea too. From Memphis, right? Yeah, I'm from Memphis. There, there you go. I did Memphis. that in Miami. Yeah. So I did that in Memphis. So. You did the, I mean, I did the, the video in Miami? I did the video in Miami. Come on. Yeah. And they put 901 from them, they don't know where I'm from. So, That's yeah. hard. And if you didn't notice what I'm saying, I'm doing in the video. Yeah. That was my favorite scene. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> I told him to leave me alone when I was 21. Now I'm in savage mode. The only hunch hole. Forever the road. I'm standing on murder code. They trying to ignite the head. Cause I got some money. Can't fuck with no pity hole. Yo. Watch out. I see the ops out. Now I'm riding around the city with the mops out. Any nigga talking fight and get knocked out. Mm. I'm away or we the land. We done popped out. Mm. All the nigga, they gon' hate it when we pop out. Fuck a will when that ain't with it. They can walk out. If you decent when I see you, this a walk down. Yo. I ain't scared of no nigga. I don't talk down. Yo. This is for the Drake. Let the broad down. I've been rapping for a minute. What they waiting on? I ain't worried about shit. What you waiting on? Yo. You the type of nigga get a nigga postponed. I'm the type of nigga get a nigga postponed. <laughs> That's a hard bar. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> Shine. Shout out to O'Shine. He my director. He shoot all my videos. Oh, salute him. Yeah, he should not. For sure. Shout out to O'Shine for sure. That's the one who did the new one that's coming out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, he Welcome went crazy on that. He went yeah. crazy on that. Yeah, for real. Yeah, shout for out real. to him for sure. He make yeah. sure I'm good on everything. And like I say, bro, as I watch the video, I'm, I'm I'm sitting in the crib and I'm like, this nigga showmanship is unbelievable. I could only imagine you on stage. Yeah. A lot of artists today want to be so cool. Yeah. yeah, too cool for school. <laughs> it's like, yo, you forget that it has to be entertaining at the same time. Man. And like you just said, everything that you was rapping about, you was doing, I was doing. in the video and shit. Yeah, I was. And it's like, yo, I fuck with the fact that you and your girl collaborating on things to where it elevates what you what what you had in mind already, right? And speaking of my girl, mm -hmm. she my manager. I'm talking about it, man. Y'all got a hell of a team over yeah, here. Man. You know what I'm like, saying? We go green team. <laughs> yeah, she my manager. She 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 give me right. She be on my ass. So I will <laughs> say this: that's a situation that niggas only dream of. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. because for one, the fact that she love you ain't, ain't ain't nobody gonna treat you better. Ain't nobody gonna make sure that you you good. Yeah. Like your girl will, you know what no I'm cap, saying? But no cap. two, to see how much time, energy, and thought alone that was invested. Mm -hmm. Shit, we probably should have had her sitting over here too, just so that. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> yeah, talk. Next podcast. 
<laughs> there yeah, we go. Man. There we go. <laughs> Shout out to her again, man. Yeah, Shout for out to real. Lala. And you know, of course, we support Black Love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we want to give a big round of applause yeah. to that. But That's so. Man, yeah, what's, look, the, what's the saying? Every black man need a strong black woman. Come, on, yeah. Yeah. come on, man. And y'all are like, feed it. yeah, man. Y'all are a great example of what success really could look like. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, At what point in your career did you say, I'm really going to take this serious? Uh, mm, good question. When I started saying, Random people that barely worked get on mm. like that. There you go. Okay. That's good. Answer. So I told myself, like, <laughs> I gotta work hard. Straight up. I gotta do this shit. I gotta show these folks I want this shit. That's some real shit. Yeah, yeah talk. I, so I do. I be doing it in the podcast sometimes. I, I be seeing some niggas that do podcasts and yeah. they be. I like, all right, I know for a fact I'm better than them. Let me step it up. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, let me. I didn't see any niggas in. I was like, he ain't really just saying much, but he hit a million views. Yeah. I gotta step it up. Mm. I know I'm hard. I'm straight up. Man, I gotta go hard. That's so. mind blowing to me just because I describe myself as a self starter, right? Yeah. yeah. Nobody has to put that battery in your back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Nobody has to tell you, gas you up for you to drive, right? Yeah. So for you to be able to say, damn, I'm better than this nigga, and I'm finna prove that and actually take the initiative yourself, to me, that's like, yo, that alone is worth a round of applause. Yeah, and it's one of those things to where it separates, again, rapper from artist. A rapper to me is anybody that says, hey, I can put rhymes together. An artist is somebody that says, I have thought in my my video concepts I have thought into my delivery of not just my bars but my music itself mm -hmm. the the video the songs everything like that and then the fact that you and your girl are such a dynamic man I thought we was you know what I'm saying <laughs> a dynamic duo yeah they're giving us a run for our money man, man look <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah she be on my ass when it comes to this music, like yeah, yeah. if it's posting content, posting music, po whatever, Ooh. she on my ass. You know what? Let me know that. This little uh, fourth wall information, you know what I'm saying? We're going <laughs> to yeah. break the fourth wall real quick. Honcho sat in the car for probably like, what, 30 minutes? You know what I'm saying? Like he was chilling inside while his girl was inside handling the business. Mm -hmm. The fact that you trust her to do that. She could speak on your behalf, mm -hmm. and then you come up and match the energy. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Yeah, we had like an interview interview. Yeah. Straight she up. makes everything was solid. Yeah. Shout out to her again, man. Straight yeah. up, man. For sure. Like, yo, y'all are killing shit for real. I appreciate that. Yeah, for man. Real. So you got you got a solid foundation. You got good management. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You got a homie <laughs> crazy with the beats. Mm -hmm. And you got the video, man. Yep. And then you come in, you gonna get you give them the good music, mm -hmm. and then you give them the good performance. You say you got Fat Joe and Jim Jones fucking with you. Mm -hmm. You got you got shit out of Miami. Yeah, you, you turn it up. So yeah, yep. salute. Hey man, I was uh, we do our research, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out little Reese, little research. Come on, I gotta, <laughs> do our, I gotta do my research, man. I gotta do my research. <laughs> so I was doing research on you. I seen you was at the Sexy Red video shoot. You fuck with her music, ever? I fuck with Sexy Red. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I fuck with Sexy Red so tough. I be telling my girl, like, my focus six red shoe. Like, okay, now enough. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at you over there. <laughs> I get it. She be on my ass. She's like, okay, now enough. <laughs> I know you like six red, but not too much, homie. <laughs> straight up, straight up. Yeah. But nah, I think that she's a great inspiration, mm -hmm. especially today, right? Yeah. Sexy red to me is one of those artists that. One, of course, you can tell she hood. Yep, you can so. tell that. It's authentic. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. But three years ago, and and two years ago, I feel like Sexy Red could have made it, right? Yeah. But three years ago, I don't think there were opportunities for artists like a Sexy Red, a Suki Hana, uh, um, who else could could we say? Let me just say a more voiceless you know person period right yeah mm -hmm. sexy red to me has great artistry mm -hmm. 
and still has that hood effect to where it's like, yo, I'm real. You can tell that this is not an industry plant situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for female rap, Sexy Red is very healthy for the music industry. She's mm-hmm. a huge additive. For Memphis rap, my nigga, you are doing your goddamn thing. For sure. Appreciate Cause again, it. just just looking at it top to bottom, right? I think anybody that thinks about Memphis is going to start with, of course, 90s artists. Mm -hmm. For more relevance, you're probably going to go Duke Deuce. Then you got like a Kenny Money underneath that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We just talking about artists that have already been signed and pushed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, bruh, watching your video, hearing your music, all of it matches the same energy. So for me, it's like, yo, goddamn, what the fuck are they doing in Memphis? I think I said that bar. I was like, I've been rapping for a minute. What they waiting on? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Straight up. Straight I know up. y'all see me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You got any um, label situations? I know you was kind of fucking with CMG a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. I had, I would fuck with them for a minute. I, I want to say I was fucking with them, but I was moving with them. Right, moving, right, 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 them. right. You got any, um, on label in situation with on the side. Let's not even uh, worry about CMG. Just uh, you yeah, right now. Uh, you ain't gotta tell which label. Like you nah, was, I tell which label because I fuck with this person. Okay, now, okay, okay. And, and I just told y'all who I, who it is. So if I was to sign to a label, uh, it would be Lil Baby. Gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha. Four gotcha. PF. Right, they're like right. one of the biggest artists I fuck with right now. That's real. So let me ask you this: When you think about that concept, signing to an artist. Uh, releasing under an artist because I think for a lot of up and, up and coming rappers that can be a, a very nerve wracking experience mm-hmm. to where it's like, do I sign to another artist? You know what I mean? Or do I sign to a label that can go ahead and do X, Y, and Z? I got two questions for you. So for one, I get that you fuck with little baby, but what really makes you say? That's who I would sign to. Mm-hmm. And then two, would you rather be independent or would you rather have that kind of a backing? You know what I'm saying? Okay. The first question, I signed to Lil Baby because I like his, I like his hustle. Yeah. There you I go. like how he came up. Right, right. And I watched, I watched his documentary and I seen how he came up. Mm-hmm. Like I fuck with him. Like it's kind of how I came up. You yeah. know, so so I fuck with him and I like how he take care of his family. Yeah. He ain't in nobody way. He ain't, right. he ain't beefing with nobody. Right. So he beat himself. Mm-hmm. He do his own thing. He mm-hmm. fuck who he fuck, who he fuck with. Yeah. Even little, what little, he did little for baby pushes artists too. Like he yeah. got Rilo. I was just yeah. about to yeah. say that, yeah. man. He yeah. keep it. He keep his team small mm-hmm. and tight so he can. Yeah. Whoever on his team, he gonna push you. Yeah. Like he got. He got all. He got. Everybody that was on his label before PF, he got them looking like stars. And plus, he's a genuine person. Yeah. 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 He real cool. Mm-hmm. He laid back. It's, it's me. Yeah. For sure. I definitely get that vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I say, y'all. Hey, they brought the Hennessy Hey, man, pull me way. up again. I ain't gonna lie. This shit was fat. <laughs> today is good. It's good today. <laughs> you was hating on the Hennessy. Now you fucking with it. You hey, before we started <laughs> recording, he was like, man, I don't even fuck with Hennessy. Like I don't, that. but today is good, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I'm just feeling that shit or what. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I'm over here like, man, I'm, I need me another little sip myself. I'm waiting on the bud, man. The damn come through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, don't, you don't miss them. Man, <laughs> golf beat. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's some, uh, so you on the, the hustle route? What's like some cons to the game right now? Like, what's some things that's like. You wish it would be better. Yeah, you wish it would be, yeah. Uh,. I say like, what I wish would be better is me making more money. Yeah. I was just about to say, as Amp asked that question, one thing I was thinking about and considering your music through this is the profit from streams. Mm -hmm. What do your streams look like, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I say this, I just started really Get my screams out there. Just start working on that. I just got my own YouTube. There you go. So it's slowly for slowly. It's, right, right, it's right. getting there. Now, one thing that I fuck with is your honesty. You know what I'm saying? For sure. 
a lot of artists that that and I'm I'm gonna be real here. I don't give a fuck how anybody feel. A lot of artists that come on for these interviews, they they oftentimes you know make themselves bigger than where they're currently at. One thing that I appreciate about you is you're very genuine yourself, right? And what I take away from it is you're not hiding anything. You are showing exactly what you go through, what you experience, being honest about your your situations as far as being able to open up for artists like Jim Jones and whatnot, and that being a big opportunity for you, right? Yeah. And, and not to say, I opened up for Trick Daddy, too. There you go. Straight hey, look. Right, right, and right. and that's a Florida like, legend. Shout out to Trick Daddy. Straight up. Yeah, that's a Florida I, I legend. I saw your performance video you did with him. Yep. And see, I say that to say, I think it's really big because as black men, as rappers especially, yeah. one thing that we don't do enough is tell people the honest truth in the sense of, hey, I'm still working to get to where I want to be, mm-hmm. but that don't take away from nothing that I did. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And like, bro, I'm again, man, I, I got to stress this. We've had artists that have had more music on on their page and whatnot. I don't get this, you know, and and it's not to take away from anybody else, but it's to say that I think your character is what shows the most in your videos and in your music. You know what I'm saying? Are you top? Amp sent me, and I'm just being real here. Amp sent me all of this information (laughs) yesterday. Damn. Yesterday. I got your music Yes, and that was crazy. I got a song called Yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> and it's out on YouTube right now. Y'all go listen come to on, that. come on, <laughs> talk about it. Dog. Y'all go tap in yesterday. Yeah, I got tap in there, man. Huncho Sotero, Huncho Double H. All there right, so you, know. you got anybody that's like watching right now, never even heard of you? Like, what's some, what's three songs you would tell them definitely go check out? Uh, Welcome to Memphis. Mm-hmm. Do some, and yesterday. Yes, sir. Yeah, go there check those go. out. Yeah, gotta go sure. check those out for sure. For yeah, sure. I yeah. Ideally speaking, right? If you had the perfect situation, who's an artist you would want to either pop out on a show, open up for them, <laughs> or even get a feature from? Little baby. I fuck. <laughs> I fuck with the consistency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because for me, I feel like my artist would change depending on the question, right? Yeah. Nas is my favorite artist, yeah. but at the end of the day, do I feel like I could get on a record with Nas mm. <laughs> <laughs> today? Yeah, 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 yeah. But in his prime, for hey, Nas was a genius. Nas was brilliant. Genius. Right, right? Come on, it's Nas. <laughs> but I say it to say, like, yo, Legend. the consistency in your answers. And then the fact that all of it really does line up and it resonates really well. Yeah. Like, listeners, I hope y'all get the same experience that I felt. Because trust and believe it ain't just the Hennessy. (laughs) (laughs) I hope that y'all get the same experience that I felt because riding up here today, I was very excited to meet you. You know what I'm saying? So. I was very excited to meet you because... Seeing your personality in the music video, hearing your records, right? Mm-hmm. It shows your commitment more than anything. And yo, again, at 33 years old, like both of us, right? Yeah, um, yeah, so I'm one year off. Yeah, yeah. And he's 34, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? So it's all good. <laughs> Still young. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say it to say, like, around this age, to me, you only get inspired by people that you can tell are truly passionate yeah. about. Anything younger than 30, I'm going to say, right? Yeah. yeah. You looking at it and saying, I don't know what they may be going through. I'm going to imagine the best circumstances possible. And that's why I want to live like them or whatever the case, right? Yeah. For me, as I'm watching your music, I mean, your video, as I'm listening to your music, one thing that really stood out to me is, again, the commitment. I could tell, uh, I used to rap myself again, so I could tell that you spent a lot of time not just thinking about your presentation, not just thinking about your boss, yeah, but what you want to accomplish as an artist yourself. Yeah. That means a lot. Like, that's very inspiring. I appreciate that. For For real. Yeah. 
I, I watched the video. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I need to write something. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Shit, I say, I don't even make music. I was like, damn, I got to I, I got a, it was a breath of fresh air because we do be seeing these, the, the mic, hanging mic. Mm-hmm. Everybody just sit in front of me, rap, rap, rap. You That's gave a full it. performer. Yeah. Bro, and the way that you work that space, for me, I've never saw you perform. Yeah. But watching the video, I'm like, I can only imagine how entertaining you are as an artist. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what that, uh, even when you got out the car and we had the opportunity to introduce ourselves and mm-hmm. be able to talk a little bit before we started recording, I'm like, yo, these are the things that make people a fan. Mm-hmm. And people want to be so cool for school that I feel like, they 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 remove fans from them. Yep, they do. Yeah. You know, fans don't like cocky rappers. Nah. They don't like cocky rappers. They why? When I be on the internet and they say things about or oh, coming to my music, anything I do, I come in back. There you go. I let yeah. them know it's love. There you yeah. go. I'm not cocky. I'm not mean. I'm not none of that. Like, right. I get back up with them. That's dope. You do that in any comment because you know some people they just comment. They they wait till you get some hate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they see all the mm-hmm. love. They're like. They They'll never one, mind that. They see that one hate comment, like, oh, and it's crazy how they do. They'll they'll skip over the love, but come into the hate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't get that. That's just insecurity. Yeah, insecurity. Yeah. Hey man, if you are out here listening today, I feel like there are so many takeaways you could take, not just from the podcast alone, whether it be our past interviews, or anything like that, but tonight especially. But what I want you to take away the most is how genuine Honcho so thorough is. And sure. like, yo, bro, I appreciate it. Like, niggas come on here all the time and they allow where they're at personally. Yeah. Not even from a music standpoint. Yeah. But just, hey, I'm here in my life, right? Yeah. To make them feel like they better than our listeners or but hell, I've seen people come on here and act like they better than us. Damn. And it's like, nigga. It's crazy. Boy, you better humble yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but come I said to say, like, bro, seeing what you've accomplished, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seeing the team and how strong your un- y'all move together. Yeah. I got a lot of respect. I want to say, like, your character is very commendable. You know what I mean? Like, I think every... Man, I'm a huge fan. I appreciate that. I'm a huge that. fan. For sure. So. <laughs> yeah, so. Me too, me too. Straight up. I appreciate up. that. Real quick, uh, Memphis related. So, what's your Memphis Mount Rushmore? So, that's like top, mm, top That's four, crazy. Top four favorite rappers from Memphis. <sighs> man... To be honest, I have no favorite rapper. Mm. I have no favorite rapper. That's yeah. a shot. I'm gonna tell you me. this. I'm my favorite rapper. Salute. So we're gonna put we're gonna do Mount Rushmore, we're gonna do Honcho, yeah. Honcho, Honcho, Honcho. <laughs> For sure. That's Straight a, up. That's a Mount Rushmore. You gotta add a five uh, <laughs> Honcho so thorough just yeah, because yeah. Dylan, Dylan. Yeah, go ahead and get it. Oh, yeah, top. <laughs> But nah, that's real. And I, I respect that more than anything because, hell, like I say, yo, bro, I live for rap. It was a point to where I was like, yo, if I can't rap, you can kill me. Yeah. Lord, you could take me off this earth. And I would have never said I'm my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even when you came in with the bottle and shit, I'm like, man, that's crazy. Y'all brought this. Nah, it's my favorite rapper. Yeah. And yo, for you to say... That shows a level of confidence. That shows, uh, again, commitment. Um, all of that shit, man. Yeah. So I, I, I took my hat, man. If, if so, I ain't had these headphones on, it'd be, so. I'd be old cowboy. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, so. for real. We get top. We get top. All right, man. So what you working on right now? Uh, I'm just going to drop a mixtape soon. This month. This month? What, yeah, what it's so called? Favorite Thorough. Okay. That's it's called Favorite Thorough. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Okay. Is it gonna be spelled like your name? It's it's spelled like Favor F O R E V E R T H E R O. There we go. Mm. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Is, uh, when you drop that man, you gotta come back. 
Man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, hits yeah, hits on them motherfuckers. Yeah, Straight up, bro. Hits. Big Actually, I'm going to talk to you uh, and your girl features? after this. No features. No features. Fuck. Yeah, fuck with it. Man, no that's features. a real, hey, that's a real nigga that stand alone. And on your own team, you know what I'm saying? And trust your talent, trust yes. your, your artistry, trust your yes. commitment to this. You know what I'm saying? I mm. fuck with that heavy. Especially like if y'all go and search right now, he got a few records on Apple Music, few mm. videos out. All you know platforms. What I'm like there we go. So for you to come out with your first project and have no features, that's a belief in yourself that many artists don't have. Real talk. Real talk. My homies just walked through the building, man. Shout out to Russell today is birthday. Salute to them you know folks, man. Happy birthday, bro. I, I was waiting to see you, my nigga. But say no more. I want to say, my first project, man. I was telling them boys, I was like, hey, even if y'all don't rap on it, I want y'all boys on my. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I didn't believe enough in myself. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and, and that's just honest. And I believe wholeheartedly in them. Every one of them talented, right? But I was like, yo, I don't know that. What for sixteen songs? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I could go straight through with no feature, right? Yeah. So for you to like, yo, your name fits very well. So the persona, not just on camera, but on mic, yo. Yeah. On Joseph Thorough, man. Like, appreciate I, I, I want to salute that. We yeah, nigga. Appreciate that. Yeah, straight up. This is a good one, man. I'm, I, I, again, man, I'm, I'm just enamored because we've interviewed a lot of artists through this yeah. time. Yeah. And again, I want to stress that this is not to take away from anybody. Yo, I got a lot of love for our niggas locally. I got a lot of love for niggas that done came through the studio from different cities, different counties, everything, right? But, bro, I don't think that there's anybody that gave me that warm feeling in the sense of, like, for real, when I watched your video... That shit made me want to like actively get back in rap. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. Like really so. start pursuing things again. And I've I've been telling Amp for a while now, like, yo, I'm gonna drop a project this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's what, two months left? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That nigga say, man, you ain't serious. You still got time. I'm dropping my I'm dropping the project this year, by the way, so like I said, Favorite That Row. It's called Favorite That Row, so I'm dropping the project soon. Straight up. So if you aren't familiar and you want to get... Matter of fact, damn if you want to get familiar or you don't, I would behoove you <laughs> to go ahead and take it upon yourself and at least check out Honcho So the, the the songs that he has online. If that's not enough for you, wait, anticipate, Cause this project is coming, and as soon as it does, yo, that shit gonna be huge. I can already uh, yeah, tell. It's called it, my mixtape called Fail with the Row. I got this single dropping called Welcome to Memphis drop today. Yes, yeah, sir. It's called Welcome to Memphis, today. so they just dropping today. So it's gonna be on all platforms. It's an official video I did. Right. I did it in Memphis. I did a little part in Miami too. Right. So it dropped today. Ready to roll. Man, look again. I. I I salute you just because one, like, for you to drive up from Miami to come up here and do the podcast with us, it, again, it shows your commitment. It shows how how true you are to your artistry and whatnot. I think that alone is 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 big. Anytime anybody invests in themselves, I think it's worth a round of applause. I think it's worth a salute, right? Yeah. So, but respect. your personality, your charisma, like. Everything that I would look to for an artist to not just inspire me as an artist or mm -hmm. or to um, engage me as a fan, mm -hmm. but just to make me say, damn, something about them resonates with me. Mm -hmm. I think you've checked every box, bro. For sure. I appreciate and, that. And, and that's huge. That's huge. I appreciate that. For sure. Real talk. All right. Man, it's been a classic, man. <laughs> Hell of an episode. Man, look, yeah. I, again... I was actually, it's been times to where I ain't been as enthused yeah, yeah. about an artist coming through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not to say, not to take away from anything that they doing. It's just to say that you can tell the difference between a rapper and an artist. Oh, and yeah. I think that like when I view your music, 
I see the artistry. I see how committed you are to see how committed your girl is to to your success, to y'all's success. You know Real what I'm talk. saying? Real talk. That's huge. That's inspiring, man. And it makes me say like, God damn, maybe I ain't giving up. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. But we're gonna we're gonna live through Hancho. Right, straight up, vicariously. Look, look into that camera right there. All your social, well, you, yeah, all your social. Man, go ahead and plug you, you everything, get, you plug man. Everything, man. Hey, man Any shout boy, out you want to give? It's your boy Huncho So Thorough. Yep. Y'all can find me on all platforms. Get to it. Let go. Yes, sir. When that tape drop, we got to do a part two. Oh, That's yeah. When that tape drop, I'm on it. They part get two. it. Straight part up. two. Straight up. Hey, y'all say y'all be through the city every now and then. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get y'all reason to come back. Next come time on, you man. come. We'll have you drop a live performance if you with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm we with gonna it. do it in the safe house. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping today, man. I was hoping today. You ain't said nothing but a motherfucking word. Because, hey, I'm, when it comes to music, I'm with it. Come on. I'm with it. Say I'm less. It. Say less. Hey, y'all be on the lookout for everything that we have in store with Honcho Thorough, everything he has in store. And if you haven't already, man, again, I gotta remind you, go ahead and sign up for the Patreon.com really slash REO Podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube. Join our Discord, man. We got so much going. If you ain't with it, you lost. Man, you lost. And what they say? If you ain't focused, you're hopeless. Yo, man. <laughs> I'm so focused. It's crazy. Straight up, man. And that's all that Hennessy. It's so. <laughs> and that Paul, Paul yeah, Bassan. y'all got me, y'all get me on this damn Hennessy, man. Hey, <laughs> no, I'm still sipping though. Come on, it's all yeah. good. Come on, round of mm. applause for Hancho, man. Man, again, I don't even think the round of applause is big enough, man. We need that bit to last another 30 seconds or something. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. <laughs> but hey, man, it's been another episode of Random Master Podcast. We dropped a classic. Yeah. All that said, we out. <laughs>